Hey, hey, hey friends, welcome back to my channel. And today we are going to be doing a American Girl doll restoration. Recently, I've been like telling myself I wanna get back into American Girl dolls. And she was just a lucky find. Me and my husband decided to go to a thrift store today and we found her at a Goodwill for $3.49. And I posted in an American Girl doll group I'm a part of on Facebook for some identification help and everybody came back like so fast and was like she's truly me number 63 so I'm excited to have another truly me doll and I think I'm going to make her the twin of my husband's doll Tristan he um, has his own Instagram account we both have American Girl doll Instagram accounts I will put in the description below and yeah so let me give you a close-up of her she is wearing this like um nightgown thing and it's not American Girl, but I'm going to wash it up and we're going to just put it with my American Girl doll clothes because it is like for 18 inch dolls. Originally, I thought her hair had been cut because it was like up in a rubber band and it was like very choppy looking. And she has like some longer like bits that are coming out of her wig. So I thought her hair had been cut, but this should be the right length for her hair. Um, her hair does need a lot of work. It feels really dry. But it still has some shine to it so I think it'll clean up very nicely. She's not too grubby. She does have like some dirty spots and some scratches and scuff marks because she's probably been played with. Um, well she's definitely been played with. Her head is coming off um, a little bit. Her stuffing's coming out so we're gonna take her head off for part of the cleaning process. And yeah so she's not too worse for wear. She's got her Goodwill sticker um, she does have some like staining on her. Hopefully I can get that out with a magic eraser. But yeah, let's get into the cleanup. We have some magic erasers, this little towel thing, a new toothbrush, my liquid baking soda, and Dawn dish soap, conditioner, and laundry soap. Here I'm just getting our American Girl doll undressed so we can start the cleaning process and wash her clothes. So now we're going to put in a color catcher just so if anything bleeds out the color catcher will catch it. Um, I'm putting her clothes in some cold water and then just putting in my laundry soap. You don't need too much. There was only two pieces of clothing. And then I'm just stirring it around with my hand and making sure the clothes get saturated. Now I'm just peeling off that Goodwill sticker and then I'm putting her hair up because I want to take her head off and um, just putting her hair out of the way so I can get to her neck strings. Here I'm just taking um, a wet magic eraser and I'm going over all of her plastic parts and she was actually a lot dirtier than she looked because that magic eraser came out really nasty after um, I gave her a thorough scrubbing and then I decided to lay out my towel because the magic eraser was like dripping water onto my counter. And then when you scrub these dolls, you really want to make sure you get in between like their fingers and their toes. So I made sure I gave her little hands a thorough scrubbing. And 
now it was time to scrub her little head and I'm being very careful on her face because you don't want to scrub away any of the face paint. Um, as long as you're gentle, it should be fine. But yeah, you just want to be very thorough with their head as well. I got this fun little rainbow dash towel from Dollar Tree. You just wet it and then it'll like expand into a towel. So I decided to get one to use while I'm cleaning my doll. Now it's time to clean her head and I'm just using a wet toothbrush and some dish soap. So I'm just making sure I scrub her nice and good. If you get water behind their eyes, you just want to make sure that you get them dried out. And then I'm just taking my wet rainbow dash towel to wipe off all the soap instead of running her head under water. And then here I'm doing the same to her plastic parts on her body, just scrubbing it with some dish soap. And then I'm just rinsing off those plastic parts, getting all the soap off of her. Here I'm using my liquid baking soda and just scrubbing it all over her plastic parts. I love the liquid baking soda. I got it at a Home Depot. Um, it just scrubs really well and it doesn't feel as gritty as regular baking soda. So it's kind of your preference. Um, I just prefer the liquid to the like powder.
and then I just rinsed off her body and now I'm going to do the same process to the head. I'm taking that liquid baking soda and just giving her a good scrub. All right, now it's time to start the hair cleaning process. So I'm just soaking her hair. Um, you wanna make sure their hair is pretty thoroughly wet so you can really scrub her hair with the dish soap. So once her hair was good and wet, I turned my water off and I went ahead and put some dish soap in her hair and then I'm just going to scrub it really well. And then I'm just rinsing out all of the soap, making sure her hair um, doesn't have any soap left in it. Next, we're going to condition her hair so we can comb through it and make sure um, she doesn't have any tangles.
And then here I'm just rinsing out all of that conditioner. Once I felt like the clothes had a, enough time in their little bath, I went ahead and drained all of the water and then I'm going to just rinse them off and make sure they don't have any soap left on them. Now I'm going to be doing a boil wash and just putting their head in for like a couple of seconds isn't going to ruin their wig cap or peel it up or in any way. So I only had her in the boil wash for a few seconds. And then I'm just going to comb through her hair. She is pretty steamy, but that is okay. We just want to make sure we can get the comb through her hair. All right, it's the next day and we are going to get her head attached to her body. I did this part off camera because it was a little bit difficult. All right, we have our American Girl doll all cleaned up. I'm thinking about naming her Zoe when I got her. Something was like, oh, her name should be Zoe. But if you have name suggestions, put them in the comments down below. I'm so bad at naming my dolls. It took me till just now to name one of my truly me dolls that is my lookalike. Um, and I've had her for a couple years, so yeah, if you like the name Zoe, let me know, and if you have other name suggestions, let me know. Um, but she came out really nice. Her hair still has, like, some flyaways and some frizzy bits, but, um, I think straightening it would help that a lot, but I'm, like, too scared to straighten my doll's hair, so I don't do that. Um, but here, let me give you a little turnaround. And I had to like trim some of the bottom because there were like some longer pieces. And she still has some wavy bits in her hair. And she's wearing a Truly Me outfit um, that I had a spare of. And she's got like the jacket, the dress, and the shoes on. So she's like brand new now. She still has some like scuff marks and stuff on her that you really can't get out when you get a secondhand American Girl doll. But she cleaned up so nicely. 
Um, and yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed the um, transformation video. And be sure to like and subscribe for more videos just like this. I'm going to be doing some transformation on my other dolls. And I'm going to be filming an American Girl doll collection. I was actually about to film an American Girl doll collection the day I got her. So I had to put that on hold because now we have a new friend for our collection. So um, yeah, we'll be doing that collection video soon. But yeah, um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone.